sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the software Direwolf on a Raspberry Pi 4. Now we're using the latest uh, Raspbian image, the Bullseye. This is just a video on how to get it installed, not how to configure it up for APRS or whatever. That'll be another video. But I just wanted to do one of at least how to get it installed on the Pi 4. So the first thing we need to do is we'll do an update. And uh, I'll throw these, I'll throw a link in the description for these commands here on my website. And we need to install some dependencies. There we go. Now I need to add the A in here because I forgot. All right, so we're going to let this go ahead and install. Then we're just going to do a git clone and download this to where we want it. And we're going to make a uh, build directory and uh, make it. That's pretty much it. This won't take very long. All right, now that that's done, we'll just go ahead and do a git clone. Then we're going to do a git checkout so we can get the latest here. The server must be on Dow up here. It's taking a while. Alright, so it looks like we're finally getting somewhere. So what we can do now is CD into the directory. Then we're going to do a check out then what we need to do is is make a directory here a build directory then we can CD into that guy then we are going to do a CMake and let that do its thing And now what we can do is a make. Now some people put the dash J and one, two, three, four, or whatever, but I just let it go. It won't take very long. Alright, so now that it's we made it, now we can install it. So we could just do a pseudo make install. There's that, and then we can do the make install dash c o n f, and there we go. So, right now, Darewolf is installed, and if we type Darewolf in, as you can see. There it is. We have the January release. It includes the following. We'll do a control C to exit. Clear. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.